Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode. It's me, it's Mark, and Mason. I believe I just woke him up. Uh, I'm here in front of Salvation Army. It's Wednesday morning, so you know what that means. That means it's half day. That's right. I normally come here on a Wednesday, but because I got here early, I want to check out here, whatever. The first things first, I want to check out the sneakers. Then I want to check out um, toys with my little guy. And then I want to go to another Salvation Army that's in New Jersey. Uh, just because I know I'm not going to be here for long. So I have time to go to the other one. It's about a 30 minute drive. But it's Wednesday and I know they are they had the uh, half day off. Um, so that's that. There's something I wanted to talk about that happened recently. A couple of days ago I got an email uh, message from eBay regarding a customer refund. A customer wants to... Uh, wants a refund for an item they never received the item is an apple watch uh that i sold a used apple watch i think i charged 130 for it and the customer states that they never received it they placed the order on january 6th and i shipped it out the following day january 7th i tracked the package it was delivered it was delivered on the 15th I have all that information. The e the message that I got from eBay indicates if I can provide the uh, tracking number, which I find it odd because all my orders are with tracking, and it automatically uploads when I um when I generate the uh, shipping label. But either way, I responded with the um, with the tracking number, and uh, just briefly mentioned that it it arrived to the uh, customer's eBay account address at the local post office of blah, 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 state, blah, 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 zip code, blah, 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 blah. USPS confirmed that it was delivered at mailbox on such date. Just so my party, eBay party, USPS party, and the customer's party were all in the same boat that it was received and I provide as much information as I could. It's a little upsetting because they automatically wanted a they wanted a um, a refund without just quickly contacting me saying hey I, uh, I placed an order on this date never received it. And then as I as I started more investigating on on this whole ordeal, I came to realize that this person is a new person with a new account. They only have about two um, feedback. So I find it kind of sketchy. Um, I did this yesterday, I responded, and now I'm just waiting to hear from eBay or the customer. Now it's kind of upsetting because it's, if it was $10, $20, I said, I'll just refund them. Cause I have a hundred percent feedback score. But because of this situation and because it was 130, $130, I don't, I'm gonna fight it. If I get a bad feedback, I get a bad feedback, but then I'm gonna try to call at eBay and let them know that, hey, I did everything that I could. I provided all the information. Um, they should contact USPS after that. I don't believe it's not my fault after that. Once I ship it out to USPS, it's up to them. But it was confirmed that it was delivered in the mailbox. But then again, maybe a neighbor had received it or whatever. But what I don't understand, this was January 15th, it was delivered. Why are they contacting me on the 10th of February? I don't know, that's weird. But we'll see what happens. Guys, let me go in. Let me see if my guy's still up. And yes, he is. Mason, you want to say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Let me go inside. Let me record to see any of the goodies. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. Okay.
snacks those little vultures jelly fruit snacks uh, just so he can let me record peacefully I got two bags full of stuff not that much awesome things but profitable things and that's all that counts you want to buy things that you know are profitable you know that they're gonna sell and that, uh, they're not gonna sit on the shelves for long I kind of that's why I kind of aim for the, um, the higher brands but uh, it all depends if they have them. Now you already know that when I go on Salvation Army, Salvation Army, I only go probably once a week, twice a week. But I always tend to go on the specific. I can't even speak. I ran upstairs once I gave them the jellyfish, uh, the fruit snacks. Um, no, I normally go to Goodwill Salvation Army on a Wednesday because it's half off. And if I'm gonna go once a week, twice a week, I want to go on those specific days. Um, because you guys already know that I mainly do my business on the computer. I find sources online and then have it shipped to me. I don't really like stepping out just because I have a three-year-old, four-year-old who needs a lot of attention. When I go out, I need to have a lollipop. I need to make sure he's well napped. Uh, he ate. He needed to use the bathroom. So once we're... Oh, and also my phone is charged. So just in case when I do come across uh, items and I need to do some investigation and look at the item, I don't want my three-year-old to ask me for things, kind of give him like a lollipop or my phone. I have him sit in the cart so I can do what I need to do. So it's a little difficult when you do have kids and you're taking them to, you know, uh, any, any chain store, any store that you want to buy things at a low and sell high. All right, so I'm yapping, but let me, uh, let me show you what I have here. So far, so good with the um, my last clip I mentioned about a customer and I had uh, regarding an iWatch. They, re they said they never received it. Well, I guess last night I sent out the email, a uh, message to eBay and my customer, and I haven't received anything. So, so far, so good. All right, but let's get started. Um, my Salvation Army receipt was $13.24. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven items but I say six because one of the items was for my little guy he wanted this um, oil truck but let's get started with this guy this is North Face it's the only pair of sneakers I bought that were four dollars and fifty cents again it does it's very useful when you do go to Salva Salvation Army on a half day okay this is a size eight men these are North Face shoes. I think these are hiking shoes or maybe no, they're not running shoes, but they seem like comfortable sneakers. Uh, probably if you can see them at a better glance. For $4.50, the cops on these, they're selling around $49, $44.99, shipping including. So that's what I'm going to aim for. No, excuse me. I just burped. Uh, again, I quickly ran upstairs to home and I gave him gummy bears just so I can record this. Uh, these are going for forty four ninety nine plus shipping, but they're going for size 11, 12. I have not seen a size eight, so I'm gonna see if I can try to sell them around the same price. Because when you when when you're dealing with sneakers at a at a size between seven and nine, they're a lot cheaper than a size 
11 and 12 just because of the size the longer the bigger they are the more weight but um i think these will sell again four dollars and fifty cents i'm gonna sell them for 44.99 plus shipping so profitable item here now i bought two of these guys 99 cents this one i mean This is a transformer toy because when I searched it, where is it? It's a, it's a bit dusty. Okay. So, let's see. I guess I don't want to ruin the toy. I got to play with it just to clean it up and see how it forms. But there was, let's try to look for it. Here it is. 1997 Hasbro Takara 1997 these are Japanese toys I'm assuming but just knowing this is optimal Optimus these are not knockoff toys the moment I saw the Hasbro uh, logo on it that told me especially 1997 vintage toy I know these toys are gonna sell it is a heavy toy Transformers, for some reason, Transformers and Dinosaurs, they sell. And good news, so I got this guy, and I can't even show you what he is, because I can't even form him. I don't know what I'm doing here, he's like a tank, airplane, I don't know, I'll figure him around. I'll show an image once it's done. This guy went for 99 cents, and I know this guy's gonna be about 25 to 30 bucks. Now, this guy, also 99 cents. He is from the movie Small Soldiers. When I was at Salvation Army, I searched him, and these guys in a box are going between 35 to 40 bucks. I think with shipping, without shipping, but mine, because it's a loose item, I'm gonna sell him for 19.99 uh, plus shipping. For a dollar toy, I'm not gonna complain. Yes, I remember this movie when I was a kid. It took a while for me to remember the name of the movie. Because I saw this toy. Uh, you'll see in the video clips. I saw this toy and I picked it up and I said, this guy looks very familiar. Why does he look familiar? I thought for a second it was had to do with Disney's Buzz Lightyear. But I was like, nah, this guy looks too, too aggressive for a cartoonish movie. And it was from that Small Soldiers movie. It's a pretty good movie. He doesn't have a gun. That's the reason he, he doesn't have his weapon, as you can see. Oh, there's a button here for him to talk. I'll see if I can put some batteries in it. If, if it works, the uh, talking device, I'll probably do it for $23, $24.99 plus shipping. But for a dollar, I can't complain. Now, this is so weird because there's this stuff here. I think this is part of the wheels. I just got to fix it. Uh, again, another 99 cents toy, and it's the same concept as that hash bra hash bro let's see what see 199 99 cents half off i don't know what i'm looking at here but i'm gonna set them up or maybe i have them the wrong way i don't know what i'm looking at here but these transformer toys sell so you guys are ever at salvation and goodwill and you come across Transformer toys, buy them because they sell. Rampage. That's what I see here. The word rampage. It looks kind of like a bug, spider. But I, I remember getting it because I also saw hash brow somewhere here. And I just want to confirm it again, but I'm in a time bunch crunch right now with my little guy downstairs. But again, 99 cents, easily 25 bucks. Now, like I said, dinosaur toys sell. I don't want them to hear. 99 cents for this guy right here. Easily 25, 30 bucks. 25 with a fine 99 shipping. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. Okay, this one right here, the coats. There goes my 
I got four bucks for this coat right here. Four dollars for this right here. Mason, you want to sit down right here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't go. I wait, 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 man. Oh, okay. Good job, buddy. What's that? That's garbage. That's garbage. Okay. Mason, huh? buddy, sit right here. I'm almost done with the camera, okay? Okay. So this is four ninety. Dad, is that for four my no. night? That for four Three ninety nine. I'm sorry. I was looking at. Okay. Three ninety nine. Mason, buddy, buddy. Come yeah. sit down. No, I can't. Okay. Guys, I'm going to end it shortly. But I just want to say this is a... Uh, Mason, buddy, you got to sit down, okay? No, I didn't hear you. This was a $3.99 jacket, half off. It was going for uh, $7.99. I won't complain because it, I sold a recent 80 Bauer jacket. This could go for easily $39.99 shipping including. Well, I'm going to end it right there. Right, but right before I finish ending this uh, clip... Mason, buddy, you gotta sit down, okay? Okay. Thank you. This sold today. This is from a video. I made a video clip when I was at Salvation Army about two weeks ago. I bought this for four bucks, no more than five dollars. I sold this for $39.99 online. This is a uh, Claiborne brown suede jacket for men. Large. It's a very nice jacket. I took some nice photos. Guys, take some great photos for your clothing. Use lighting to show off the color of your, your coat, your shirt, your sneakers, your pants. So this is going on today. So thank you to the customer. I don't know. I don't have it here. Let's see, so I could just thank them online right now. Let me do that. He's a little hyper because I gave him those food snacks. Uh, okay, let's see. It is going... This brown jacket is going to California. Thanks for customers. I won't say your full name. I'll just give your initials. JL. JL from California. Thank you. It's going out today. You should be getting this. Today's Wednesday. You should be getting this on Monday. Maybe Friday. I don't know. Probably Friday. Depending. No, it's going to be a three-day business. You'll get this on uh, on Monday. But thank you for your business. And I have another customer that purchased something else, but... I don't want to bore you guys, but this is it. This is what I got for $13.24. I won't complain because it's profitable items. I'm looking at here probably over, I want to say 25, 25, 25, 75 plus 50, uh, 125 plus the sneakers, which is another 50, 125, uh, let's see, 100, 100, 125, 125, 200, about $200 right here. Uh, and I got it for $13.24. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mason, and thank you Mason, for watching. Mason, you got to say bye to the camera. Say bye, everyone. Bye.